Good morning, everybody. Happy 4th of July. It's about 5.30, July 4th morning. It's a little blowy out here. I came out early again. The park is starting to fill up with people having parties and picnics and stuff, which is, uh, I'm not sure if that's such a great idea right now, considering what's going on. But, my plan today is just to head straight out from the launch. I have one frozen opelu, salted frozen opelu, and I got another Nita dead bait rig. And this time I put it on some coated wire. So hopefully if I get a strike from a tooth critter, it doesn't cut it off. But my plan is just to head straight out to about 250 and start trolling down towards the point down that way if I find some live bait along the way then I'll definitely try and pick some of those up but the wind report today is uh, six to nine knots so it's east southeast winds it's not too calm today but I think the same thing is happening right now as last week down from the mountain and blowing towards the east right now offshore and then it calms down around eight o'clock and then I think it's gonna switch around to southeast winds so that's the plan I'm gonna try and troll this dead bait around Let's see what happens all right looks like I found some bait setting up the dead bait rig and drifted over something down there. Oh. That's a cover cover. Tail wrapped.
Look at the bait tube today. Just trying to go simple and lightweight. These guys back in the water. Deployed the knit a dead bait rig. I got those Opello and the bait tube back there. So I'm dragging this bait tube out. I'm in about 95 feet right now. I'm gonna let this dead bait rig go back about 150 feet or so. And then I think I'm gonna keep paddling towards that point over there just so I don't get sucked way down there. The wind is blowing pretty hard towards the point on that side. It's just getting windier out here. I'm in 192. Sent out the dead bait again. Got one live opelu out. Seen some marks down around 50 feet. Big solid line right underneath me. Paddling straight into the wind. The wind and the current is ripping down towards the point. Dragging these two baits and the bait tube. Fighting the wind and the current. Just kind of staying in one spot here. But I'm hoping the wind calms down around seven or eight o'clock like it did the last couple times I was out. dead bait rig brought it up and checked it the stomach blew out it was all shredded up not from a fish strike but just from trolling it along that was a old nasty frozen dead opalu still have the same one live bait out on the spinning reel and have I think four, four or five in the bait tube still. No action out here. Seeing a couple marks here and there, but no strikes yet. I'm in 200 feet. I turned around and I'm going down current now. The current is strong. The sun came out a little bit. I'm hoping the sun warms up the air and calms it down a little bit. Still kind of windy. The reason I wanted to come out today was because of the uh, Soul Lunar fishing forecast. Showed excellent fishing conditions today. I guess the moon set right as the sun was rising. And that uh, I guess increases the fishing time. But I think it said from 5.30 to 7.30 was the major bite time. And I don't think it's 7.30 quite yet. The Coast Guard usually comes on the radio and gives their morning briefing at 7.30. And I haven't heard that yet, so probably around 7 right now. Oh, I saw a whole lot of marks earlier when I found that bait school. Oh, this guy is getting real antsy right here.
do is like the Lua. Catch up here. Two hundred forty feet. Maybe something else. I'll take that. Nice fish. Them. He was snagged in his back twice. enough one of these dead baits back on the dead rate bait rig and 132 right now I've been able to find any more bait so I figure just use one of these dead baits troll them around on the dead bait rig Thank <laughs> you. 
stroll this single dead bait along. something good strike nothing left all right I'm calling it I think my weather prediction was right though about the cool air coming off the mountain in the morning making it kind of rough and choppy and then it clears up, cleans up for a few hours around eight o'clock. And then the trade wind kind of picked up around 11 or so. Not bad, still manageable, keep you cool. But I'm glad I got that uku. That's something to eat. I'll uh, show you how I cook them up, maybe in the next video or Maybe at the end of this video. Alright, thanks for watching. See ya.